did I learn my lesson from last week? Absolutely not. I've got here bang on opening time and the car park is heaving already. I feel like I'm a bit late, but remember last week, I still managed to pick up those 80s My Little Ponies and still managed to fill an Ikea bag for. In the week as well, I picked up some vintage Power Rangers and Jurassic Park stuff. Ian the Master of Pieces, part-time eBay reseller, retro toy collector. Let's see what we can find today. So it's time for some scorching sourcing. This is the first stall here. Up on the top there, see that? A little Olympus camera. Very early in the day, the guy was charging some high prices for other items. So I just thought, let's move on. Plenty of glassware and crockery, not really my cup of tea. <laughs> Some serious inflating action going on there. Well, like, look at that balance bike. Just a glance over the table. I can't really see anything. Now this is more like the type of store that I'd like to see. Everything jumbled, all on the floor, mixture of toys. You could find a gem in here. I quite like the look of that skateboard down there. Take a closer look, it doesn't have the penny board mark in the middle there. There are some Harry Potter books there and also a Goosebumps mixed in. I do have a set of those Harry Potter books already though. And on the other side, this is a classic store that I tend to avoid. Just clothes piled up on top of the table. This was interesting. Look at this box. I didn't know what these were to start with. I thought they were lightsabers. I mean, the ones on the end are, but in the middle are a load of posters. All of them look pretty new, and it was too early in the day to be rummaging through those. You don't see chrome brake levers now, do you? Exactly. <laughs> Tons of bike bits here, but I did see those red things in the box. It, it looked like toys to me. Uncovered them. It wasn't. Nice fold up bike there, man. Look at that. Nice, well organised pitch here. All the toys laid out nicely. Of course, you've got to have a little dive into the basket, haven't you? Look, there was nothing there. You could see that just without even looking too hard. Big bundle of. Ninja Turtle stuff on the floor. And then on the next pitch here, look, some, some old football boots. These are all small size. I did ask the lady, she wanted five or six quid each. Probably a little bit of money in them, to be honest. But I've got a fair few boots to sort through as it is. Trolley goals right there. Love a cake stand out of boots. I'll shout out to anyone out there that, that goes night before, cooks a load of cakes up, brings them down for sale. Also trying to sell a few bits on the side there as well. Nothing, nothing for me though. Anytime I see dolls dead on the floor, I do stand and just have a quick glance over them, looking for those monster high dolls or anything that's a bit special. DVDs, a few car stereos, always feels a bit dodgy buying car stereos to me. I mean, you never really know where they come from. It was at the box, so it's probably good. Quick glance over that storm, not much air. Some of you gamers out there, lots of Call of Duties, all Xbox 360s. Now, with the weather like it's doing, this is what I'm after. I am after a real good quality water pistol. If I can find one of those old super soakers, I would snap it right up. These, unfortunately, were not them. Spode plates. Picked them up before, learnt that lesson. Now this little stall here had a bit of a buzz around it, look, there's probably three or four people just gathered around. Whenever that happens, you always just want to have a quick look, but now they're just on the floor looking through the clothes. These look a bit special on the off chance, but they converse? No way. And all with those. Plenty of Primark. Two 
too busy to really dive in and have a good look. No titles, just from the quick glance here. A few board games there, nothing particularly special. And then a few CDs and DVDs on the end. And it's on to the next one. Oh, this looked pretty good. I was in two minds about this. Look down here there. We've got a Bratz and a shoulder bag. Check solds. Five or six quid for postage. How's it going, right? Yeah. Have a look at this. I love running skateboards like this. Always have a look, see what make it is. This one was nothing particularly special. I always have a look at the Buzz Lightyear's every time I see them. First check I make, does it have the flashy wings on the back? Have a look at the bottom, it isn't one of the Finkway ones. Then up here, it's the Toy Story remote control car. Again, doesn't look like any age on it. Hey, cheers. Guy wanted a tenner for it anyway. This is my first regret of the day coming up. Have a look at this. This is like Link's sword off of Zelda. Have a look at the handle there, it's official Nintendo branding. But what I did was I kind of took it out of his holder. It is pretty scratched up, but it isn't that bad really. I didn't even ask for a price. Why didn't I even ask for a price? I just put it back down, walked off, and the worst thing was, right, I saw someone carrying it around later on in the day. Ah, here we go. Another great store. Everything jumbled. Lots of toys, lots of board games in the mix. Could be a gem in here. And what I like to do is just spend a bit of time just listening to the other conversations, see how everyone's getting on with negotiating and things like that. And what I'm finding was this seller like to have a little bit of a deal. And what's that we can see at the back there, that back? That is the corner of a PlayStation 1. Hey guys. How much are you selling the, the bag of PlayStation bits for down there? Um, 15 it is. 15, it's all is it? working. It's all working. Is it? Can I come and have a look? Yeah, I'm sure I've come. How would it? Back in the day. Back in the day, it was up the attic in the box. There's only one or two games of it. I think it might be one in there. My son tried it yesterday. Yeah, he tested it out, did he? Yeah, he tested it out yesterday. Nope, he took it out. He took that one out? Yeah. I'm just testing the dual shock thumbsticks there. They look pretty good. There was two of them. We'll do it for a tenner. Twelve is the lowest I go. Twelve? Yeah. Let's 12. go twelve. Go Let's on. go twelve. Another bag. Oh, <laughs> cheers, man. Bag thrown in free. Bag thrown in. You don't want five pence for the bag. Now this is just right place at the right time. You can literally see the lady put these shoes on the rack as we were walking towards her. Now we've got two pairs of Dr. Martins. They're pretty scratched up, pretty worn on the bottom. Still got to be worth a go, right? Hiya. How's it going? You alright? Yeah, how much for your Dr. Martin shoes? Pound for those? Yeah, great. Could I get could I get this other pair as well? Those ones too? Wicked. We're at the very last row here. This is where all the new sellers come in and set up. It's like an absolute mad place down here. Oh, there we are. Can we keep that so I can come back and get some change? I'm just trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it up quick enough. Hi, how's it going, right? Hi. How much are you selling the candles for? £6.15 in, in the yeah, outlet shop. shop. They are, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. So I was looking at the flavour, crisp oh, campfire it's apples. Oh, it's ready for uh, Mosset now, Halloween and that. Yeah, yeah. Now, on the floor here, I saw a big bag. I thought they were Marvel weapons. Someone's had a good rubbish through that. And over there, that's one of those V-Tech dinosaurs. Some of those can do pretty well. Oh, check this dude out. Literally, 
or the Rubik's Cube almost solved it straight away. And then you got Scalectrix. I know, yeah, this is my, my, uh, yeah, something I'd always wanted as a kid. And then, uh, yes, it's great. Uh, we used to play a lot of drinking games with it. Oh, nice. Massive, massive track, whoever knocks the car off. But it is, what I mean, great it is idea. vintage, so we say. Yeah, yeah. It's about 30 quid that, but it's probably absolutely shot if they've been drinking with it. It's a pair of bog standard mics here. Dodgy looking tick on the side too. So that's the bottom half of the boot sale done. Now let's get on to the top half. Nice pair of Puma running shoes here, look at them. Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do with them, it's for... <laughs> <laughs> I got absolutely burnt. No, no, football, Look, actually, that's not a bad deal. Three pairs of work running spikes, six quid each. Bit of profit there. That was another miss. I have right, I completely missed all of the Shrek teddies. There's Shrek on the floor and there's Donkey up on the top there. All I saw was this Mac off of... Disney cars. It's only a plasticky one, though, it wasn't die cast. Yeah. Now, I probably missed a heck of a lot off of this guy. Just pan over some of the bits that he's selling. I just don't know enough about the old antique type things. And this is what drew me over was these two teddies. Never seen them before. We all know that's Bob the Builder, don't we? And these Bob the Builder teddies can do really, really well. So that was worth checking on Soul Listings. A couple of old figurines there. And then this old school brown thermos flask too. Little torch in the background, didn't recognise the brand on that. And then over here, which is a box of old cameras. Like I said, probably missed out a lot here. How's it going, right? You good? That's bad. Sweet. How, was, how much for your Bob the Builder? The, the, the teddy, the Bob the Builder went. I want three pounds. Three pounds? Next to him as well. Yeah. You're doing both for five? For two? Yeah, for those two? The, one, the two that are sat on the yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay. I don't have bags, my friend. Yeah? Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, Nice pair of yellow Air Force Ones up here. But she had price tags on every single one of her items and they were 15 quid. Here he is, this is Lofty off of Bob the Builder. Key thing to check with this one is does he still have his hook on? See how much he is. Hiya, how much for you? Bob the Builder. 50p? And on the next door, Screwball Scramble. I love to pick that up usually. That one doesn't look like one of the older ones. A couple of rugby balls. They're 50p, the teddies. 50p, are they? Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> take them. Just take them, just get rid of them. <laughs> and why do these always get me? La la loopsy dolls. I don't know why, they always just jump out at me. Whether it's the plasticky ones or these were the Builder Bear ones, they're no good. They're just no good. Now, who is buying this? Who's buying that? Look at the state of it at the top there. It's only a 2017 tag as well. It's not old. It's got the holes. 
This, this could have been quite a nice little bundle. We've got some official tech deck ramps. But the little skateboards, they weren't unfortunately, and there just weren't enough of them. And I think that is going to wrap up the boot sale. Let's get back to the garage. Let me run you through some of the bits that have been selling on eBay. It's Thursday, I've sold six things, let's get on it. The first two sales, right, this is a strange one. I sold two Monster High Dolls, and the reason this is strange is I would have bought these well over a year ago, and they've sold to two different people on the same day. Like, why? I wonder what's going on in the Monster's High Doll world. I mean, I don't know. But anyway, I'm glad they've sold. This is Gina Fire. She should come with a tail. That's obviously missing. That's hampered the price. Still gone for 15 quid all in. This is Draculaura, but the, but the Creepateria version. So lots of little foodie bits in there. All bagged up, all 100% complete. That's gone for £16 plus postage. Next up, I bundled together these Disney Store Frozen dolls. These are the ones that are like really long and thin and kind of gangly. Now, I paid two quid. For that for, for, for those three could have sold them off individually maybe made a little bit more i just bundled to them together i wasn't ever going to make much more than a tenner plus postage took an offer nine pounds plus postage next up i love this sale i bought 10 of these this time last year sully car boot sale for a fiver so 50 pence each and i've listed them up for 10 pound 50 plus postage just one of those reoccurring listings where you change the quantity and they've been selling £10.50 plus postage and I've only got two left so yeah that fiver may turn into £100 plus postage at the end of it. These were a weird one right I could not find these anywhere online I searched for a model number on the shoe nothing Google lends them nothing I listed these up as Skechers memory foam brown shoes and that was enough to sell them paid three quid in the charity shop for these they are a bit worn on the bottom even so £10.50 plus postage and the final sale is an item we all know Boppets. We all know them, but they still sell well. Paid £2 at the boot sale. That was going for £14.50 plus postage. And it's great timing because I do have another one in the death pile exactly like this that I can just replace the listing with. Nice sale, that one. So all in all, Thursday, six sales. Pretty good. So Thursday, we've seen the revival of Monster High Dolls. Friday is all about Trackmaster. And usually what I do with my Trackmaster trains is sell them off individually. But those that aren't really worth that much, I've just stuck in a box and kind of forgot about them. Well, I decided to take the plunge, clear them out, and I put two bundles together. This was the first one, right? I bundled together five of these tender trains. Now these would sell for about four quid plus postage each if I listed them individually. But as a bundle of five, they've gone for £19.50 plus postage. So that's £3.50 each. Not that much difference. And that was a lot easier to bundle them that way. This was the big win though. In this box here, I have just put in nine real bog standard low value trains. Lots of different Thomases with different paint works on. And I've padded out the bundle with loads of little wagons and little carriages. So there's 15 wagons in there, nine trains. That's gone for 25 pounds plus postage. And that is sold within a week. So that is my Trackmaster all sold off. I'm now looking for my next big bundle to get into, split up, sell off individually or bundle as well. But actually, there is another sale on Friday and I want to give a big shout out to John. Big supporter of the, of the channel. Usually one of the first three to leave a comment. We'll see if he's watching, see if he gets in there first today. He also likes garden fences. But John messaged me about this Millie Bright sticker. This is Millie Bright's first sticker from 2019. MGC9, so good grade. John, thanks ever so much for picking this up. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for your lovely comments and I hope you're enjoying this video too. So that's Friday done. Let's pack this up, get it to the post office. Now sales on eBay this weekend have been pretty slow, but I'm putting it down to the weather. I mean, I'm just guessing that not as many people are on eBay shopping when the weather's so nice. I mean, that's what I'm convincing myself anyway. Either way, still sold five things. This was the first one here. It's Rowdy Roddy Piper, and this is one of the tough talking wrestling figures. Put a battery in there, push a button. Yeah, I made it very clear it needs a new battery, but the good thing is it is making sounds, so once that battery is replaced, should be all good. That's all for 10 quid all in. Next up, you would have seen me pick one of these up at the boot sale as well. Now, I sold Lofty from Bob the Builder for £8.50 plus postage. And I only paid a pound for it, and the best thing about it, it's sold within the same day. But the sell-through rate of these, really not that great. So I priced mine the lowest on eBay. So if anyone was on eBay searching for this particular vehicle, they would have bought mine first. And that's what happened. 
Next up, I bundled together loads of PJ Mask vehicles and figures. And these are the three main figures here. Those are the kind of main good guys. But I put loads of the bad guys in as well. And this is a classic example of where I buy big bulk lots of these like classic, well, they're not classic, these popular children's shows. Buy them in bulk and then just sell them all on online. Now I paid five quid at the boot sale. Someone just wanted to clear out their old toys that their kids don't play with. Stick them online, one big bundle, sold for 20 quid all in. And that didn't take too long to sell. So put PJ Masks on your list as well as toys like Paw Patrol. It's in that same bracket. And the final couple of sales, and these are my favorite. And these have gone to the same guy. We went back and forward to agree a price. This was the first one here. A Universal Studios Jurassic Park original cushion. Look at the graphic on that. That's cool, isn't it? And as well as that, he was interested in these Jurassic Park eggs I picked up from the charity shop the other day. Now, each one of these eggs has got a little dinosaur in, and these are from the early 90s. We went back and forward with the price. But I got this as part of a bundle that I got from Connor and I'm talking months ago, if not like last year long ago. It's been hanging around for a long time. And these I only picked up Wednesday, paid a pound each. We agreed 40 quid all in. I mean, I was never going to get what I wanted for that. I wanted 30 quid just for that. So, you know, I, I ended up accepting 20 for that. And these ones, maybe I could have held on and got a bit more because they sold for so quick. But either way, I'm chuffed with 40 quid all in for them. And that's it, guys. So that, that is my weekend. So all in all, a few nice pickups in the morning and some nice sales on the, yeah, some, some nice sales th throughout Saturday and Sunday. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll be back with you Wednesday. I quite fancy going around the charity shops again. We'll see. Catch up with you then anyway. See you guys. Bye-bye.